Hi, I'm Lisa Hayden with Channel 6 Central Kentucky TV, Community Focus on Washington County. And today I'm just delighted to have uh, with me Jenny White Shotsky. I never pronounced that quite right. Oh, is that good? You got it. Okay, good. And um, uh, to talk about the Springfield BPW upcoming wine tasting. Right. And Jenny. Uh, you and I are co-chairing, yes. <laughs> which we've done many yes. times, yes. <laughs> and you have chaired uh, numerous times. I've chaired numerous times. So anyway, um, we're still going strong. Yes. After 16 years. <laughs> Is this the 16th? 16th year. Hard to believe. Yes. yes. So, um, tell, give us all the details. Okay, this year it's Saturday, May 19th. It's always the third Saturday in May. And it's from 6 to 9, downtown Springfield at the Louisville Store Building, which is 101 West Main Street in Springfield, and on Cross Main. We close off Cross Main and put up a tent. It always rains, so we have to cover the street to try to keep people from getting wet. But our silent auction is held, um, we have a silent auction inside the building along with our wine tasting. And then outside we have a beer garden and our live auction outside with music. So um, you can purchase tickets in advance for $25 or at the door for $30. And uh, we will, your tickets include your wine tasting but your beer in the beer garden is domestic beer for two dollars this year so similar to what we did last year okay so now where can people get their tickets in in advance there's several locations in Springfield Selwood Hill the Opera House Springfield State Bank um, Hardin's Jewelry and then in Lebanon at uh, Lebanon Health and Fitness and in Bardstown at Ooh La La Boutique um, so you have several and I think did I say Selwood Hill I may not have in Springfield, so okay. yeah, several locations, lots of locations, in or they can call tickets. you or I, <laughs> right, right. So and they can call you at eight five nine four eight one four five seven two, or or me, Lisa Hayden, at eight five nine two eight five zero zero nine nine. Right, and uh, of course, if you go into any of these businesses, you can, you know, someone will help you and. Um, but now, uh, what this year uh, um, is going to happen as far as our wines are concerned and our beers in particular because I'm always interested in our wines. <laughs> okay, our wines, um, let me get the list here. Um, we try to promote local wineries and then do one table of uh, wines that we purchase at a local store. But the local wineries that we usually try to promote are Horseshoe Bend and Jester's, McIntyre's from Bardstown, uh, Spring Hill Winery in Bloomfield, Forest Edge in Shepherdsville, uh, Wyatt Meyer Vineyards and Winery from Shepherdsville, Wildside mm -hmm. Winery in uh, Versailles, and then in addition to that we'll offer a non-alcoholic table of non-alcoholic wines and then we have water and lemonade and then in the beer tent, we usually have both Bud and Miller products. So uh, we have a wide selection. Mm -hmm. and we haven't purchased all of our wines yet, and, and we actually have to purchase the wines. The wines are not given to us based on our ABC, ABC laws. laws. <laughs> we have to purchase the wines, and that the ticket prices that people pay help pay for the wines and the beer, and then our proceeds that we make from those actually go to support our Springfield Business and Professional Women's Scholarship Fund and some other charitable organizations that we sponsor throughout the year. And based on the number of tickets and the people that attend and the money that we make from our auction and our silent auction is how we come up with the amount of money that we can give for scholarships right, and right. donations. And of course, we support the Caring Place, which the mm -hmm. is the domestic violence shelter, and, and, House of Hope. and the House of Hope, which is uh, for um, women who are having babies and 
they uh, are very uh, supportive of, of these women and helping them get right. established and get things for the baby and various things of that nature. And, and then we do some things for like younger girls as well, like the Washington County High School girls softball team, because we see them as our future uh, members. So we help sponsor their softball team and we've done some things for uh, St. Dominic's golf uh, tournaments and just some local, mm -hmm. small um, mm -hmm. organizations mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. help them as well. But of course the bulk of the money goes for our scholarship Scholarships. programs. Yes. And that's for both uh, a non-traditional, how, how is that non -traditional. now, um, uh, Our non-traditional, um, we are looking at women who are seeking an education uh, later in life who are either going back to college, a technical school, or even a certificate, uh, mm -hmm. doing something to better themselves later in life to support their families. And they may have lost their job. They may have had, they may have gotten divorced. You, you just don't know what their situation is, but they're doing something to better themselves. And we will do non-traditional scholarships. And again, it, it's based on what we make. And we try to do between 700 and $1,000 per scholarship for these women, and um, we try to do it once or twice a year, again, depending on what our proceeds are, and um, it's, it is for mm -hmm. a non-traditional. And then the other scholarship we have been doing is for distinguished young women of Washington County. We will do one $500 scholarship for a young lady who writes an essay and portrays how um, she can be her best self through the Distinguished Young Women's National Program. And we present that every year at uh, the Distinguished Young Women's Program. Right, right. So. And, do we, and do, don't we have another scholarship? Sometimes we'll do a traditional, um, but... For community activism? activism yes, but uh, mm -hmm. we have gotten more response from women who are non-traditional than we have from the younger ladies getting out of high school, I guess which is sad to say. I guess they don't need any scholarship money. I think money. they must not. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we've we've gone more the non-traditional. Yeah, yeah. So. And that has been very successful. And of course, we support these women to help them in their careers and right and support their families, yes, themselves and their families. So, I, it's a wonderful scholarship program. And one thing we didn't mention is that. During the wine tasting uh, silent auction, uh, the tables do close at different times. And people sometimes get upset with us because the tables don't stay open until the very end. But it's pretty hard to cash out everyone. So if we have 10 tables of silent auction items, we may close tables one through three at like 6.30 or seven usually about 7.15, and then we'll close the next group at another time, and then the last group of tables at the very end. Mm -hmm. um, and in between there, we'll do the live auction. And we usually try to do six or eight items, nice items, for the live auction. And a lot of times, it's bourbon items. And so, speaking of that... <laughs> oh, I know. I have to mention that we're delighted that this year we have uh, uh, Michter's, yes. uh, who is our new uh, bourbon uh, distillery in uh, Washington County uh, that's uh, going to be at our industrial park and they have uh, graciously uh, agreed to uh, be a sponsor right. and uh, give us uh, a tasting of that mixtures yes. of those mixtures brands of bourbon and whiskey and um, not a tasting at the tasting. no 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 a but a, a gift basket, basket yes. of uh, <laughs> yes. you know of items. Yes. So yes. and that's really good because right. that's a high end uh, right bourbon there. <laughs> right, and and we'll have other bourbon baskets. We'll have um, in addition to that, we'll have gift certificates. We'll have golf certificates. We'll have massages. We'll have all almost the gift certificates are just unlimited. What we have mm -hmm. and. Um, so uh, there's just many items, and many are still coming in. I mean, we still have a few weeks before, but we have some paintings, we have uh, some originals, uh, original mm -hmm. drawing, 
that's coming in. I wish I knew more about it to tell you, but I don't. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a Lincoln painting or a it's Lincoln drawing. It's a local drawing. artist. I mean, yes. well, from here, but lives in California, California and quite renowned. And I know Margaret Newby, the president of our BPW, is has asked him to do this. I think he's in California, maybe New York. New York. New York. Yeah. And um, and he's from here. And I don't know. I don't know enough information awful? to talk so, about. So, but I anyway, apologize. we're excited about that. I've seen a little bit of the work he was doing on this it's Abraham quite, Lincoln. Yes, it's portrait. beautiful, fabulous. So. There are um, several levels of sponsorships that we have, and in addition to just, we'll take any amount of cash, we'll take any donation, but there's letters that we have sent out that many of you have seen, and we have what's called a golden circle, and it used to be like a corporate sponsorship. It's $500, it includes a sponsorship with 10 tickets and a reserve table. And then we have a silver sponsorship, which is $275, and it includes a sponsorship. And when I say sponsorship for both of those, you're included in our brochure that we pass out. Um, you're included in our program. Program. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, and then they can reserve a table. Yes, with they six tickets for that. And that means you actually have seating. We anticipate a huge crowd this year. Normally we have between 600 and 750 people. We think it could be larger than that this year. It is an election year, and two, <laughs> three days before elections. So it's a good place to, to, uh, yes. to come if you are electioneering. Yes, that's true. And then last, uh, we have a spirit, which is $100, and it includes two tickets. But like I said, we'll take any amount. And the thi main thing that people need to remember about the wine tasting, it's not just to taste wines. It is, you are supporting a function that is a fundraiser. And the generosity and the support do help provide those scholarships we talked about. And without that support and that generosity, we could not do what we want to do as an organization. Right, so. right. And so it's nice when we can get those sponsors, and also if there are people that would like to donate uh, an auction item, mm -hmm. and uh, either a small auction item or a, uh, or if you have a condo in Florida that you want to donate for a week, we'd love to have that. Yes, <laughs> we'll give you a tax receipt for it. <laughs> yes. Yes, because it is uh, tax uh, deductible. Yes. Yes, it is. And uh, we are a 501C6. Six. Six. Yes, we are. And uh, so, and if in so, if anyone would like, uh, and and you know, we we have a lot of generous uh, donors in this community in Washington County and in the surrounding ca yes. counties, Marion and Nelson, yes. who've all been so uh, gracious to and generous to uh, give us. Um, so many different things, sponsorships and uh, auction items, and so I'd just like to say myself, thank you to all of the businesses and, and Channel 6 as well. They oh, yeah. always uh, uh, they sponsor. sponsor us. Yes, they do and, a lot for us. And, and do a lot, correct, yes. and so we're, we're happy to have, and we very much appreciate. We couldn't do it without. No. all of our generous uh, sponsors and business people. Right. So I guess uh, the main thing is that Saturday, May the 19th, from 6 to 9, mm -hmm. tickets pre-sale are 25 And we said you can get them at Selworth Hill, uh, Hardin's Jewelry, Lebanon Health and Fitness, Springfield State Bank, uh, the Opera House in Springfield, Ooh La La in Bardstown. Uh, I think that covers all of them. Or from Lisa and I. Right. And you can get them at the door, too, for 30 Right. Um, one thing we do need to touch on is you do have to be 21. Mm -hmm. And our liquor license does not allow a parent to bring a child, which is very important. Right. You have to, there, we cannot have anyone under 21 there. And we do have to card. Yeah. So, and you do have to wear a bracelet. Yeah. So with that said, it's... Um, oh, and what about music? Is yes, there uh, is music. Uh, music uh, is provided by uh, John Graves. Um, he does that. Entertain, uh, inter 
Atmosphere, Atmosphere Entertainment. Entertainment. Yes, he provides that for us. And uh, then the live auction, the silent auction, the beer garden. Mm -hmm. um, what am I forgetting? We do have light appetizers. Right. And, uh, and we do this rain or shine. And we pray for shine. <laughs> it's not going to rain this year, I promise. We got bigger tents, so we're hoping that it won't rain. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and yes, and we do have light appetizers, which is good. So uh, I can't think of anything that um, whether you uh, drink alcoholic beverages or not, there's plenty. Uh, we try of, to cover um, everyone. For every, everyone. Yes. Even the people who cannot have sugar, we have non, uh, I guess they're called uh, free. We have free wine, it's called. Yeah. So that if you are diabetic, you can have, and you like your wine, we, ca we cover you there as well. So right. Yeah. So we try to, we try to cover everyone. <laughs> and we, we, everyone just has a fabulous time. It is. It's, it's amazing. Uh, it's just the premier event in Springfield every year. It is. <laughs> Sponsored by the Springfield, I mean. Uh, Springfield Business and Professional Women's Put Club. on by the Springfield. Right. Better known as BPW. <laughs> right. So. And we're always needing volunteers to help. I mean, it takes like. How many? It takes between uh, almost a hundred. Last year we had ninety-six volunteers the night of the event. Yeah. That doesn't count the people that it takes the week before to get ready. Right. So yes, and it takes the, that and week. afterward to clean up. Yes, <laughs> how true. <laughs> yeah. And so we're always uh, and encouraging women to uh, to participate in the business and professional sure. women's club and to become a member. And uh, we would love to have you. And we're the largest club in Kentucky, and we're part of the State Federation of Business and Professional Women. Right. So. Yeah. So, well, thank you, Jenny, for being here today. And thank I you. hope everyone will come out on May the 19th at 6, six to 9. 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock at the Louisville Store Door. Building, downtown Springfield. Right. And if you have any questions, contact Jenny Schotsky. At 859-481-4572. Or Lisa Hayden at 859-285-0099.